Hey everyone, welcome to the weekly Blue Jays baseball breakdown, Monday, August 13th, 2018. We're going to be taking a look at the series in Toronto against the Boston Red Sox and the series in Toronto against the Tampa Bay Rays. So Red Sox come to town, game number one, Stroman go on the mound, gives us seven strong innings, only gives up two hits, one run. It was an unearned run, but unfortunately Ryan Tapera in the eighth inning blew that save. We end up losing this, losing this one in the 10th inning, final score is 10 to seven. Justin Smoke actually tied it in the bottom of the ninth with a solo home run that was pretty sweet, but unfortunately we're on the wrong side of the outcome on that one. The second game we lose 10 to five. We had Hochschild on the mound making his first start there after he had that great bullpen day. Uh, but unfortunately just wasn't that great today. He had 2.1 innings pitch with three hits, four runs, they were all earned. The final score again, 10 to five Boston. The third game of the series, we do actually avoid the sweep. We had uh, Berecki on the mound. He pitched five innings, gave up nine hits, four runs. They were all earned, but we came out on top eight to five. The only person without a hit on the Blue Jays lineup today was Russell Martin. So at the end of the day, it was a pretty good day to close out the series against the Red Hot Red Sox. Then the Tampa Bay Rays, which for some reason always seem to be the Blue Jays uh, thorn in a side, come to town. We end up losing the first game a seven to nothing. We only had three singles and a walk. Obviously with that kind of offense, you better hope that all the hits are home runs, but three singles and a walk, not gonna get you too far unless they're in the same inning. Uh, the second game, we lose this one three to one. Uh, Gaviglio was on the mound, gave us five and one third inning, gave up six hits. Uh, two runs and they were both earned. Actually, in the first game, I want to let you know it was Estrada that gave us the start. He was five and a third, gave up five hits, five runs, and they were all five earned. So, Gaviglio, game two, uh, we lose this one three to one. Uh, Diaz, the only bright spot on offense, one for three with a home run. So, going into the final game of the series against Tampa Bay Rays, Stroman on the mound again. He actually gives us five strong innings. He was dealing with a blister hot spot, so they pulled him out a little bit before. I think that he would have liked to have been had he been perfectly healthy, but with his finger situation, I think it was the right decision. He gave up uh, five hits, one run. It was an earned run. Um, and we took the win in this one, low scoring game, two to one. Devin Travis was two for three with an RBI and Grichik was over three with an RBI. So at the end of the day, we'll take that win any way we can get it. So uh, we end up basically two and four on the week, not the best week, especially considering it's the Rays. But at the same time, I think this season we're Se seven losses and two wins against the Rays or something like that. So they always seem to give the Blue Jays tr uh, some trouble, especially down in the trop. But thank goodness we were at home for this one, so we were able to get a win. So, and the next uh, series will be heading down to Kansas City for four games. We're actually going to have Danny Jensen, the catcher. He's called up, and he's going to make his first MLB start and behind the plate. And we also have uh, Sean Reed Foley up from AAA as well. He's going to get his first big league start. So that's kind of nice to see ushering in some of the uh, younger generation kind of getting their feet wet before the, I mean, it's always good to do it, in my opinion, in a year like this where you kind of know that it's already a write-off. So you might as well bring in the young guys and let them get into the no pressure games, get, you know, get some experience at the big league level in these big stadiums with the superstar <laughs> on the other side of the uh, ball before it actually matters, you know? So it's nice to see that and hopefully they can uh, do really well in their first time up. Uh, so after Kansas City, we're gonna be heading over to um, the New York Yankees for another three games. So I'll talk to you guys next Monday, see how those things unfold. Peace for now. Bye.